that one. So here we go for the next line. bodies you're gonna get hung up a lot okay, we're gonna come back and do that again but we haven't flipped over it's one thing the mirrors is getting ripped up but the nomad has not tipped First flip <laughs> on its back. All right, here we go. These lines are getting tricky out here in Monterey. Hell yeah, we got a line. We captured a line right there with the Nomad. I'm excited right there. That was a little hooked up on my links. Oh my God, we, we captured that. All right, you guys, you got to see me take this to Monterey, California, play on the rocks, and as you can see, it did pretty good, fairly well with this hard body. The only thing my thing is the Velcro. It popped off too much for me. So we're gonna figure out a different solution for this truck, and we're gonna put this back on the Nomad RC messes with Proline. These guys are like brothers or cousins. I don't know the relationship, but I'll tell you this, Nomad RC is with Proline, and they this is a short wheelbase, uh, frame right here, 3D printed. So we're gonna put it back on the Suzuki body. Oh, you guys got a new FJ coming out right now, right? I believe so. Yeah. But you know, you tell us about what you think of Nomad RC's 3D printed frame. You know, honestly, the, the industry and where it was going, everyone, all these manufacturers coming about, and then Nomad drops this ball on us. This is a game changer. I'm telling you right now, like this is where this industry needs to go, and the creative side that can come out of 3D printing. I mean, holy cow. Uh, the Nomad crew, they absolutely killed it with this frame. Um, it's completely 3D printed. 
The nice part is you buy their chassis, uh, you put your own axles and transmission in it, but you buy their chassis and they send you the uh, USB with all the actual 3D printed parts that it would take to replace stuff on it. So let's say you break something, you go to the- File um, B and it prints out a new frame. Yeah, you go to the library, your public library, most of them have a 3D, 3D printer. printer. And it's relatively cheap and you can print new stuff. I think everything except for the frame rails um, but you can print everything you break if you bust a shock tower or something like that. So it's really cool that they've actually invented something that works with 3D printing because a lot of us uh, coming from the engineering side of things, it was relatively something that was weak. You had to kind of make work and the industry is changing. I mean, now we have, you can 3D print metal, you can do all this stuff and now- a real car. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. they're absolutely, it's, it's becoming a new thing. So to see a company come out with a car that's 3D printed and then of course, you know, you, you've probably seen on around now, if you look, they have a Samurai body. It's the Pro-Lines paired up with them. They're doing the rims, the shocks, everything else with it, tires, body. Um, Nomad's just killing it. And I really heavily like these cars. I have one myself. I'll be building it here in the near future as soon as finals are done. But that's good, because by the time you build it, we should have this dressed up as a Suzuki again, and uh, we could crawl off against Sean. Uh -oh. I think, are you ready for that, Sean? Uh, I gotta bring some talent, but I'll find some. Yeah, good, good. You just let us know what kind of tires you want to run. Oh, it's always pro line, man. That's good. That's good. That's good. While we got them here, we're gonna debut something. Jay, unravel what you got over there. Tell them what you got, Jay. It's the new Vanquish product, the VS410. Man, you see it. I painted it. Nick put it together. Chris funded. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. And uh, this is what we came up with, and I like this product. It feels good in your hand, looks good. We can't wait to see what it does on the trail. And you know, we had a chance to let Sean play with it. And Sean, give us your two cents. Because you know what's funny? Nick's not here right now, but this is a little debut. And Nick feels a certain way about this product, but he hasn't got a chance to drive it yet. That's the one thing. He actually drove it, and you tell us what you think, man. Oh, man. Um, you know, I love Anguish. Some of their products are awesome. And, you know, I, it, it's I it's hard to describe it like I like lighter rigs uh, I like my rigs lay, weighing in on the lighter side something like this this is really light and that's just my driving style that's what I prefer and so I've had heavier rigs in the past and this one's somewhat heavier just because everything's machined it's metal it's stout this truck is stout but just crawling with it dude this is one of the smoothest trucks I've ever driven straight out of the box I mean you don't need to do anything. Your money goes where, you know, it, it goes into something that's worth it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But holy cow, this truck is just ridiculously smooth. The articulation, the shocks are pristine. I was really impressed overall with it. Um, stock tires aren't that bad, obviously. I want pro lines, you know, but... Um, but just for out the box, like you said. Just out the box, this truck is awesome. Um, and you guys, you guys did it right with electronics. Yeah. I mean... Reef's triple four servo in there. Mm -hmm. Awesome servo, you can't go wrong. Castle set up. Castle. Well, before you take it off, take put it back on. I want to show them one thing I For noticed sure. about is, uh, I like, I didn't notice, I've seen these on the trail before and I had a trail, but the wheels stick out just a little bit. They give it a little bit more foot, mm -hmm. foot trail right there. I mean, when, when, you, uh, when we were articulating, it rubs a little. I love rubbing, because that really gives it the real scale. Some people don't like that. I love rubbing. And, uh, the rubbing and the movement of these incision shocks. Now, these shocks are something to say about, they're just butter on the trail. Yeah. You know, we've heard negative things about this product, like if you bash it, the frame bends, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, like out the box, all three of us right here were, you know, three out of five dentists. It was pretty amazing. <laughs> and if you bash anything, any frame will bend. Yeah. That's true. So anything is subject to breaking. So, uh, and Jay, you did a <laughs> Jay, you did an amazing job. I love the Thanks. paint job. This was fun. Yeah. See through hood. That's mm -hmm. from the C seven vet, right? Yeah. Uh, well, the uh, C six ZR one has the power window, is what they would call that in the Chevrolet world. But um, yeah, that was his idea, and I applied it. Did a little clear one in the rear too. And this was a very fun one to build and paint right here. What do you think of that thing? You know what I love about it, like first and foremost, is it's loud, like. <laughs> Coming from racing, we love bright cars. Mm -hmm. um, you like it, so when it's at the back corner of the track, you see it. Well, if we're out with a hundred different crawlers, this is probably gonna be one of the first ones you see, and I love it, because 
your eyes drawn to it, and then you automatically start checking out. You're like, hey, that's a Vanquish truck. That's a VS or four VS four ten, and it's it's just automatically there. And so for such a killer truck that they've designed, I really think it's cool that it's loud, and you just you see it. So thanks, Sean. It, it, the paint is brilliant. Appreciate it. So no, Jay, killed you, it, man. Jay killed it. Jay gave it the Olympic colors, Audi, streamlined, see through, American made. Rig right here. Oh, because I said Audi on my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Chevrolet. <laughs> International uh -huh. V8. Hey, yo, so you see the Nomad RC. Wait till you see it again. You got to see it with the hard body. It was a cool one to run it on that body. But I can't wait because I'm a big Suzuki fan. Ooh. Samurai. I can't wait to put this thing back on there. And we all, we're going to make sure he's there because we all can't wait to show you this thing on the trail. Because this truck... I'll tell you this, a lot of people are scared by the price, but if you're in this hobby, this is, for it's that price, money. for that price he's saying it, it's saving you money. And um, for that, dude, it's enough. It's a quality product, man. You already know, if you follow Vanquish, top of the line stuff, every piece is a piece of functional art, I call it, every piece. Even some leftover pieces, I'm like, what are these pieces? They're machined perfectly, I don't know, they look beautiful. The but, reason why uh, I bought it straight up, the offset front every. axle. That's the reason why I bought it. Just that offset front axle. The pumpkin's piece. offset. Yeah, On that's curry. legit. Nice you. curry axles. Banker stands behind their product. I mean, I, I've seen people have issues with stuff and they'll just warranty it, take care of it. So it's another thing. They completely built the truck. It's a great company. You know they're gonna take care of you if you buy it. So you can't go wrong if you wanna spend the money. There's nothing wrong with going with the axial. These guys have proved that a stock axial can go places a lot of people don't think they can. Mm -hmm. Stock Traxxas. Stock Traxxas, yeah, for that matter. Sweet, the, the stock, a stock Venture HPI. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, we got a Red Cat do some crazy stuff. Yeah, like at the end of the day, we, look at this, we're having fun. And you know what, we've been at this table too long. We're going back out on that trail. We're out of here. <laughs> See y'all on the trail.